Alrighty, so in this video, I will be going over my top 5 favorite Windows 11 features. And yes, Windows 11 is now out to the public, and you can upgrade your computers if you do have compatible hardware. Well, me, I've actually been using the Windows Insider build for quite a long time, and I really do enjoy it because I get the latest Windows software with great support. So if you go over here to Windows Update, in Windows Insider program, you can see that I am running the latest beta build. And yeah, it's worked pretty smoothly for me. I haven't had too many bugs. And I think I'll be staying on this beta build for quite some time now. I mean, nothing has gone too wrong. And yeah. So, enough of that. Let's start with my top five favorite Windows 11 features. So, number one is going to have to be the new Windows 11 UI. The new Windows 11 user interface. I really dig this new look. I personally think it looks a lot better than the older Windows 10 look. That was really looking outdated. Even though people might say, hey, this looks a lot too much like Mac OS. In some ways, maybe, but in some ways, it has a lot of features that it's all by itself. And that's why I really do enjoy it. So let's get started with the taskbar. So first of all, we have our Windows icons and everything like that. Our application icons are centered. You can turn that, turn it and go over to the left, but I personally prefer it in the middle and I really do like that. If we click the start menu, we have a totally new updated start menu and I like this a lot more than the old one with all those tiled widget type of things. This one looks a lot better. We can go see all of our apps in one nice little thing like this. It really looks cool. And I like how I can search all my applications or my files and it just, it can just search Google with Bing. Of course, Bing isn't the best thing, but it can do a lot of amazing things. And I just, I, I like the way it works. Number two would be the new time. It looks pretty cool. The round corners are nice. Next, we have our control center, which is also updated and it does really look like Mac OS, but at the same time, it has its unique features and it, it looks cool. I like all the settings. It all looks cool. And then, yeah, so next probably would be the new redesigned settings. I like the way it looks. It feels good and it, I mean, it works well. I can do it. I can see everything I want to see in a nice and simple way. And yeah, next, I really do enjoy the curved corners. It gives your system more just of a more unique and smoother feel. The new animations are really good. After using Windows 11, going back to Windows 10, the animations feel really choppy. Like I can make this bigger and it looks, it, it's just a nicer animation. Like if I click something right here, the, like if I, if I open up a different application right here, like Core Temp, it opens up right here and then once I close it, it just goes away, which it just, I like that feel. Everything looks really cool and the new UI is really a nice and in my opinion, I like it more, but I do know some people really don't like it and it's all up to personal preference. I'm a fan of the more Mac OS type of modern type of look and that's why I like this. So yeah. So let's head over to my favorite Windows 11 features number two, and that would probably be the snap tiles. So if I take my mouse and I hover over the windows, the thing to make it bigger, you see we have all of these nice layouts. So if I click this one right here, and then I open up the windows terminal right here, it will snap, well, let's go like this. Let's do it one more time. We'll click that right there. We'll add that right there. And it automatically tiles them in a really nice system. And they're really uh, proportionate to each other. And I like the way it feels. And you can change everything. It, it just really looks cool. And it functions really well. That's one of my favorite features about this is it's really function and, and this is something that Windows 10 actually didn't have and it's something that I'm a fan of like I can op open up my web browser which my preferred web browser is Brave I can make it to the side like that I could have my file explorer well let's do that let's open up all my applications and then I could go right here I could add that right there right here I could put my file explorer and now I have three applications open up on my one monitor and it's just really proportionate to each other and it looks really good in my opinion and it's super easy to manage and I could always go minimize one of them and they would still stay that's just it's another one of my favorite features about Windows 11 is the snap tiles for some people it's not that important for me I I don't use it a lot but it, it's still really good 
Alrighty, so my top favorite feature, number three, and that is gonna be WSLG. So if you don't know what WSL, WSL is, it allows you to run Linux inside of your Windows machine using basically a virtual machine, but it's really snappy. And setting this up is really easy, especially on an insider build. I will leave information to this in the description, but with this newer version, we get a thing called WSLG, which the G allows us to run Linux graphical user interface applications on Windows. I just think that is so amazing. So first of all, like we can type in NeoFetch right here. We see we have NeoFetch. It looks like Linux. I am running Ubuntu 20.04.3, the long-term support version on Windows 10. And these, is, these are all my specs and everything I have right there. But let's say I wanna run a graphical user interface app. So first of all, let's say I wanna install Firefox. So I can type sudo app install Firefox. Again, installing Firefox through this wouldn't make sense since there is a native Linux application. But again, it's cool that we can do it. So I already have Firefox installed. So there is two ways right now which I can open up Firefox. I could type in Firefox right here to launch it or I can actually open up this right here. I can type in Firefox and there is actually a app icon in this start menu for Linux apps, which is really cool. So I can click open, give it a second to open up right now. And then Firefox will launch as a graphical user interface app right here. Look at that, we have Firefox. Sure, the mouse cursor is outdated. The Windows things don't look that good. But hey, this is full on Firefox on our Windows system. So let's say I want to type in Google. Google.com. And then I could type in, let's say, Pi4. Look at that, the responsiveness also is pretty good. I am running Firefox as a Linux application inside of Windows 11. I mean, it's just really cool, the whole concept of that. Let's say another one could be Gparted. We can go sudo Gparted. And now we'll have Gparted running on Windows. So with WSLG, it really expands the possibilities of things that you can do inside of Windows. I don't know why that's not loading up right now. It used to, but hey, WSLG is really cool. Plus you can run all of your internal applications in here as well. Like HTOP will launch up right here, or we could have, um, we could have like, we could install them. We can, in, we have Nano right here. We can use our text editor. There really is so much to do with this. And the Windows terminal really takes full advantage of this. So yeah, I mean, I'm, re I'm really into this. I would recommend you guys check this out. Alrighty, so number four in the list is going to be the newly released beta Android app support. So now we can run full on Android app systems, Windows subsystem for Android on our Windows system. It really is cool. So there is a lot of settings in here that you could go through if you like. But for now, I will not be doing that. I just want to show you guys. So right now I have the Amazon App Store installed through the su subsystem for Android. Also, I will leave the information on how to set this up in the description. But for now, let's let the Amazon App Store launch for us. And I'll show you what type of Android applications are available and how you can do this. So we scroll down right here. Just one thing to mention, the UI is a bit, it's not the smoothest right now, but it is in beta and yeah. So again, there mostly what I see right here is a lot of games that I can install not much to else, not much of anything else. But let's say I wanted to install, let's find any game right here that we would want. We could go Talking Tom Gold Run. So we click on it, we can see the reviews, we can see more information about it, and then we can click Get. If you click Get, it's gonna start purchasing it, which is free, so there's nothing there. And then it will actually start downloading it for you, and it should work. You already own Talking Tom, all right. So now it's downloading it for me and just give it a few seconds and then we'll actually be able to run Talking Tom Gold Run, an Android application on our Windows system. So it's just a really unique feature. You don't have to use BlueStacks anymore. You don't have to use other things, but it will be nice to see side loading in the future if that is a possibility. So once that's downloaded, we can click our Windows key right here and we can say I already installed Subway Surfer. So let me click that. I installed it through the Amazon App Store as well. So give it a second. 
you see obviously Subway Surfers is much more touch oriented and it's for a vertical screen which doesn't work as well on a monitor but hey we are going to be playing this on our Windows system let me exit out of all these and you look at this performance is actually good of course I'm playing this with a mouse right now which really is not ideal but hey I am playing Subway Surfers on my Windows machine yeah I mean that is just a really cool feature and let's say I want it to go I can make that bigger of course I will have these pretty big black bars on the side but hey it's cool another one that I installed was the hungry shark hungry shark is just another game it's more ver not vertical oriented but the other way and so it should work better on a screen like this all right so we can make this big and you see i still do have these kind of smaller bars on the back but hey performance is actually good it's not that stuttery and i can actually play this game on here of course if you did own a touch screen device with windows 11 you would have better performance but hey this is pretty cool so yeah one more thing that i actually installed was the kindle application so the kindle application look i can go through and i can see all of my books right here and this is the android version so i could open up a book right here and then it will start downloading it as an Android application. And they all they all just work well. I mean, sure, the application while I'm inside of it is a bit stuttery, but for the most part, it's a really awesome experience to see full Android apps on Windows 11 like this. So yeah, we can close out of there. And yeah, I don't know why that app didn't finish installing, but hey, it's okay. Other ones do install. So my fifth and last favorite feature of Windows 11 for this video is going to be this thing that comes pre-installed on Windows 11, at least the insider builds called the Winget. So if you've ever used Linux, which a lot of my viewers have, you are familiar with the sudo apt or pacman or whatever package manager you use, you use on your Linux distribution. And well, Windows is, Microsoft is actually trying to bring something like this to Windows 11, which is a bit strange, but hey, I like them innovating and it seems like a cool feature to add. So how would we use this? Well, we can type in Winget in the Windows PowerShell. Again, I am using this through the Windows terminal, but you could go ahead and do this through the direct PowerShell application right here, but the Windows terminal just looks a bit better in my opinion. And I've added like transparency to the background, but yeah. So we can type in Winget install. Let's think of any application that would be pretty easy to install. So we could go Winget install. Let's see if Discord is on here. We can go Winget install Discord. Give it a second. It will search all the repositories to see if Discord is available. If not, it will so we need to type so it says there actually are there are multiple packages found matching the input criteria so you can go through that and look a bit more but let's say we could go we could just do a different application when get install brave let's see if the brave browser is there i mean there is so much that you can do on here so we type in brave browser maybe let's see if that works all right, so there is some criteria in here that I actually personally do need to go through and learn more about. But for now, I mean, Winget is a really cool feature and we can go Winget install OBS Studio and that will actually go right ahead and start grabbing OBS Studio for us installing it. This publisher requires that you view the above information. Yes, I agree. I can click Y, it will start downloading it for me, the installer and everything. It will go through and install it and I don't have to go to any website, click that, download the exe file. I can do it all through the Windows PowerShell using Winget installed. So this is just another cool feature that I find really useful and I find to be pretty good. So do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I already have this installed so right now I don't want that, I'll click no. But hey, Winget does work. There is a lot of, I mean, sure. Let me rephrase that. There isn't that much software available right now, as far as I know. There, You will have to go through, figure out which software is available, but it's a great start for Windows trying to move over to Linux. But yeah. All right, guys. So to conclude this video, there is a lot to like about Windows 11, but again, there is stuff to not like 
about Windows 11 as well. For example, the performance is worse on AMD chips right now, and there are just other issues, but there still is a lot to like, and I, I honestly, I kind of like where it's going. I like being able to run Android, Linux, and have that wing get all on my Windows installation. It really feels like I'll, I can be more of a power user and it expands my possibilities in Windows 11. And so, also let me know in the comments below, what are your favorite things on Windows 11? Or have you even tried Windows 11? If so, let me know in the comments below and have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching.